Hello everyone, it's me again, Richard Evans, back for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. And I got a request from a viewer, yes I do read your comments, uh, asking about how to make custom transitions with audio. Now inside every TriCaster is an application called Animation Store Creator, and that's where you can go to take the animations that you've made in your favorite animation software to create your own transitions and animated buffers to export for use inside the TriCaster. And in previous videos, we've shown how to create those, but this time we're going to show you how to incorporate a sound effect into your transitions, kind of like this. Whoosh. All right, so this is the TriCaster TC1 interface, and I need to show you where to access Animation Store Creator, which if on our main menu, we skip New Session and Open Session, and we'll go to Add-ons. First one on this list will be our Animation Store Creator, Advanced Edition for my particular TriCaster here. All right, and this is Animation Store Creator. So this is where you can go in to either create uh, some different uh, transitions or let's say a frame buffer animation, et cetera here. And so you basically will go here to uh, load in different image sequences that you can create in say Adobe After Effects and then or your favorite other uh, animation uh, creation software and bring those in to here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a wipe that I've already created and so I can just go ahead and under my effects, we'll just keep that as a wipe. All right, and then my overlay animation, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a frame sequence here by clicking on this drop down. Let's select a file, and I'm gonna to navigate to my file path where I have this image sequence I have created. All right, and all you have to do is just select the very first image in the image sequence and that will stitch all of them together for you. All right, so I have part one of my animation here, and if I scroll through the timeline here at the bottom of the screen, let's go ahead and do that real quick, you'll see that I have my animation coming through of my face. Oh, it's lovely. All right, now I need to fix this, because as you can see, I have my uh, A and B layer. It starts right here, so I need to make a different uh, point, and uh, since this doesn't go completely across the screen, I need to make a matte point here, which I've also created uh, in uh, After Effects. So I'll go to my wipe sequence, and let's go ahead and select that. All right, so let me just back up and I'll grab the matte sequence that I've made and that'll load it in the same way. So this will load behind the animation that I have done. And let's go ahead and load that up. Do, do, do. Cool. And if I scroll through here, check it out, it's still in the A layer. And then once my face gets over here, now my matte layer comes into effect. So that's gonna have my layer A and layer B. All right, so the next thing I wanna show here now is that's just the animation that I have in here. And if I just exported it right now, it would just be the animation. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look now at the next box, which is audio. So you have an option here for flying it on and flying it off. So let me go ahead and find that file that I had for myself. All right, so I have one for flying off and then let me also grab it for flying on. All right, so it'll play the same thing no matter which way I go. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and if I go through here, obviously we can't hear anything now, and but this is tied together with the animation that I have. So let's go ahead and save my beautiful mug here by clicking on the set effect icon uh, at the very bottom. And now I have a image of what this transition is gonna be like so that when I export it to uh, my TriCaster, I can pull it up pretty quick. All right, so now let's go up to the top of the screen and let's select file. Now we need to save this as an animation store creator uh, file. So let's go ahead and go to save. And let me go ahead and I'm just going to save that to my D drive. And let's just call that Richard's face transition. Okay, so now I just saved it, but now let's go ahead and export it to use within our productions. So if I go back up to file here, uh, there's a couple ways that I can do that. I can either create an installer right here, and what that will do is it will create an EXE file that I can then export and send it, to, uh, send it to another TriCaster, put it on a thumb drive, for example, and then you can install that on any TriCaster system. Uh, or let's go ahead and hit export here. 
and this gives me option to export it to this machine. And if I click on that, that will basically just render out this transition to my TriCaster, and I won't have to do anything else. So let's go ahead and do that, and it'll create my effects. All right, now that that is done, let's go ahead and go back up to the top file, and we'll exit, and let's go ahead and open up a session so we can load this bad boy in. I'm going to launch my Tuesday tutorial recording session here. Start live production. Okay, so this is my Tuesday tutorial recording session. And the next thing that I want to do is show you where to get this transition that we just exported to the TriCaster and then load it here for us to use. So to do that, let's go and click on this box here at the in the middle and this is where I have my nine different presets for transitions to use. So I can click on this and just have quick access to different transitions. Now the first two here by default are loaded as my cut and fade. Those are just your default ones but the other seven of these, these are ones that I can click on this plus button and select any transition that is installed onto the system like the one that we just made. So let's click on plus and if I scroll down here on this media browser, these are all the different transitions that come with the system here. But I want to find mine, and by default, that is going to be under Animation Stores and User. And there we go. There's my face. Let's go ahead and click on that. All right, and then now that it's loaded in here, I have a little preview of that. So now all I have to do is do an uh, auto transition to my next shot, and let's check it out. Transition. Oh, it's lovely, it's lovely. Okay, now I have the audio in here now, uh, but what I wanted to also show you is where the audio lives because you are you have it with a transition, it's attached to that, so where is that coming to? Let's say that we wanted to route that transi transition somewhere or mute it, for example, or uh, you know do some processing to it. That is going to live within our audio mixer under effects. So it's going to be right between our auxiliaries and then also our DDR players here. So if I click on effects, this is where I can go to either do some panning, I can also do some processing in here, uh, also some routing if I need to route this over to a different auxiliary. Let's go ahead and clear that out of uh, auxiliary 2 just for example, okay? So I muted all the other audio coming into my system, but let's go ahead and let's make that transition and keep your eye on this view meter for effects and also all of these and it's going to not appear in my auxiliary too because I did that routing. So let's go ahead and do that transition again. Transition. Amazing. Isn't technology wonderful? The things I get paid to do. <laughs> transition. So if you didn't know how to do it before, you do now, and knowing is half the battle. Now if you want a copy of this transition, I don't know why you would, but if you do, I'll post a link to it in the comments. Now, if you want actual useful information, like information about new tech products, for example, uh, subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. You can also find out more information about new tech products by contacting your local reseller or visiting our website at newtech.com. Also, tag us in your Instagram posts at newtechinc or just the hashtag newtech. We love seeing how people are using new tech products to enhance and make their shows. Also, tune into newtech.tv to see all the latest hardware and software developments coming from Newtech, along with interviews from Newtech users and third party developers. And you can even sign up for a free personal Newtech product demonstration by visiting that site, newtech.tv, and clicking on the demo button at the top of the page. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on the next edition of Newtech Tuesday Tutorials.